This is a WISN 12 editorial with President and General Manager Jan Wade. Measles has unfortunately reared its ugly head in Milwaukee again, and that's not good, particularly when vaccination rates for school children here are spotty at best. Rates remain well below pre-pandemic levels in the state of Wisconsin, too. Last year, one in 10 Wisconsin school children were not up to date on the vaccines required to attend school. That's roughly 90,000 K through 12 students who aren't protected against hepatitis B, polio, measles, and other preventable diseases. Measles in particular is highly contagious and very worrisome to public health officials who are well aware that outbreaks of the disease can be difficult to contain. CDC data also supports this trend, showing that a quarter of a million school children nationwide are also unprotected from measles, mumps, and rubella, known as MMR. Sadly, these diseases were all but eradicated for decades before a tide of vaccine hesitancy began sweeping the country. The pandemic made it worse and social media further amplified the anti-vax message. Now with increased global travel, measles in particular is making a comeback. Measles can be dangerous, especially to infants, young children, pregnant women, or those with compromised immune systems. Few germs are more contagious or live longer. Measles spreads easily and can stay in the air up to two hours after a sick person coughs or sneezes. Plus, it can take up to 14 days for someone to show symptoms, making transmission easy. Here's the bottom line. Measles is a vaccine-preventable disease. It was eradicated once, and it can be again if everyone does their part. Please get your children and yourself vaccinated. No one should take an unnecessary risk like this. I'm Jan Wade.